everybody. It is time to learn about cookie projectors. So um, let's just dig right in. I'm not sure I can see your all's comments at the same time I'm doing this. Maybe I can, but I'm actually using my phone. And um, anyway, if you have questions, if I can't see them at the, let's see, I don't think I can on my phone. Anyway, I'm just going to get started. If I can't see them during, during the video, I'll see them afterwards and I'll be glad to answer your questions. So tonight we are talking about cookie projectors. Um, I would love to know in the comments what kind of cookie projector you have. Oh, let's see. Maybe I can see. No, I can't see him. <laughs> what kind of cookie projector that you have. Um, I have an Acaso projector that I'm going to show you here in just a second. And um, I've had it for several years. The thing I like about it, it's completely Bluetooth. So I don't have to worry about um, cords. I really like that. It, it has never failed me, and I'm going to say that, and then, you know, I'm jinxing myself. Hopefully, tonight it will work just fine. My writing is not very good. It's good. It's I, I have very pretty handwriting. My mom taught me to the, the importance of having pretty handwriting. She has beautiful handwriting, but I couldn't write on a cookie to save my life. Oh, here I can see the comments. Um, Janie, you're finishing up your wedding box. Good. Nancy just bought a Kodak Luma 50, but haven't really used it. You got to get that thing out because a projector is a game. I mean, tr truly a game changer in cookie decorating. So um, if you don't have the same one that I have, it might be a little bit different. Obviously, all projectors are a little bit different, but you might you might learn some things. The main thing, one of the things that I want y'all to get out of this is how you can actually find the font that you want to use to write on your cookie. So today I made some cute shamrock cookies and um, my friend Lydia has um, the party prep school. And so I'm doing a tutorial with her on how to decorate those cookies. If y'all are, if you love parties, check out the party prep school. Um, you can Google it. You'll find it. Lydia Menzies. She's absolutely fantastic. But I think it would be really fun to put a name on this cookie. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do tonight. Okay, so let me turn. Let me see if I can turn my camera around. Um, hold on. Um, maybe. Here we go. Um, wow, it's so funny. I just got a new phone today. Mine broke. And you should see all the options I have for my back camera. <laughs> I think this one will work. Okay, so here is the projector that I have. It's an Acaso projector. And um, you turn it on with this little button on the side right here. And then I've got to turn this down and then you will notice that a light will come down here at the bottom it's a little tricky to do this because you know it's dark outside and the lighting isn't great now there's something really funny when i when i show my camera for some reason back here um you see that blinky and i know that's really annoying but there's really no way to make it stop now this, I have this in my Archon mount, which I would not know how to do this without my Archon mount. Honestly, you can move it up and down. It holds my camera. So my projector is on. I'm going to move it uh, um, forward a little bit so these are not upside down. And hold, I'm, I need to put my phone down just for one second so I can get this the way that it needs to be. So you all can see it. Sometimes you need three phones. Okay, so here is the, um, here is what is shining. And I have this whiteboard so you all can see it. Here's what is shining down here. And then up here, there is a little toggle. And you can see down here, there is an arrow. Can you all see that? And wherever I toggle it and whatever kind of jumps out at me, that means that that is, 
where my um when i push the center what's gonna light up so or what's gonna work so this i could play youtube netflix i never do anything except this right here same screen which means whatever i have on my ipad i'm actually going to use my ipad so let me turn it on i would i usually always use my phone but i'm using my phone to do this so um let me get out of here real quick gosh <laughs> it's crazy because i got a new phone today i mean my everything's going crazy when i turn it on okay so here's my ipad and the first thing i'm gonna do actually let me let me stop i'm gonna go and i want to click on here so i'm just gonna click on the middle where it says same screen and then here's the options that are going to come up airplay wi-fi display or e-share and i want to do airplay and what air yes my projector is bluetooth um let me see if i can change the screen i'm not sure i can because i'm on my iphone but let me play around with it just for one second and see I just got this new phone. No, I think it's because I'm, oh, hold on. What if I move it that way? No, it, it's not gonna, it's not. I'm so sorry. It's just not gonna get any bigger, unfortunately. Because I have to do this on my phone. I can't do it on my computer or else you all wouldn't be able to see it so um here's airplay this is what i want so i'm going to go up here and i'm going to hit that and then it's going to come up and it's going to say airplay server and basically it wants to know it says use your apple device to use airplay server so i'm going to come over here to my ipad and i'm going to scroll down the top and then there's a little button right here that has two it looks like two screens and that's screen mirroring. Let me put this up a little bit. And so the screen mirroring that I want is eShare. And because I have an Apple device, that means that I'm going to share whatever is on the screen with the projector. So I'm going to hit the eShare button. And it's thinking. Now, there's a little check mark and so if i go over here whatever i have on this screen do you notice over here it's exactly the same because i just told the projector that i want it to project whatever is on my ipad any questions so far let's see gail you say i have the exact same projector as you but had to get hdmi cord i could never get bluetooth to work I want to become friends with this great tool. Now you do have to do, and I haven't set this up in a while, Gail, but you do have to have, have it on the same, I think the same Wi-Fi. Um, but you, your Acasa projector should have come with a book and that would tell you exactly how to do it. So I'm just gonna put my cookie there. Now I'm gonna come over here to my iPad. I wish I could make this screen bigger. I really do, but I can't. Okay, so now my favorite app, I'm going to go to here and I'm going to look up DaFont. It's DaFont.com. Here it is, D-A-F-O-N-T. You can't really see that, but it's DaFont.com. D-A-F-O-N-T. And now all these different options are gonna come up for me to use for fonts. And you can just choose one that you like, or you can go up here. What I'll do a lot of the times is, um, I'll just go through the alphabet and I'll kind of look through and see, you know, just find one I like. Once you find a font, you can actually save the name and then you'll be able to find it again. But I never do that. 
Um, it seems like I liked one that was called Magnolia. Let's see if that is one. Um, yes, it is. It's a cursive one. So mag the Magnolia font is now on my iPad. And you'll notice I'm moving. Hey, Mimi. I'm moving my iPad with my fingers and watch what's happening over here. It's getting bigger and smaller. That's the nice thing about having an iPad. You can do the same thing with your phone, but I think it's honestly a little bit easier to do with the iPad. Now up here, it says type your text here. So I'm going to type the word um, Nana because I want to decorate this cookie for my mom and she's Nana. Now, once I type that in the preview, I'm just gonna hit this little button that says submit. And then you'll notice down here, all the different fonts, there's Magnolia as Nana. It's gonna show me several different options. There's an ad, let me get rid of that. There we go. So I like that one. Now, do you see how it's also showing up under here? So what I would do is I would put my cookie right underneath it. And I'm adjusting this with my finger. Now you can also adjust this mount up and down and that will make the image larger or smaller. But I can move the cookie around so that I can see the image on the cookie. I'm going to use my fingers to make it a little bit smaller. And then I have my icing. Um, I have my icing right here. And I'm going to, let's see if I can, I have two mounts. I was going to see if I could hold, let me see. Put my phone in one. Let's see if this will work. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm just gonna take my icing and I'll show you in a minute, but I, I can see exactly where I want it to be. And I'm just gonna draw that name with my icing. Now I'm all done. I could put another cookie under there, but let me turn this off so you can see what the cookie looks like. So there it is. Now, could I have done that without the projector? No possible way <laughs> because I just cannot, let's see if you can see there. I just cannot write very well on cookies. So, hey, Linda. Okay. Belinda, the projector that I'm using, let me turn this around, is the Acaso right here. And yesterday I did a, um, I did all my favorite cookie um, items, cookie decorating items. There's a list and it's on my page. And you can go to that list and you can find this projector plus lots of other things. I love this projector. Now let me turn this camera around here a second. I really don't like doing StreamYard on my <laughs> on my phone because it's small, but I can't do this on with my computer because you all wouldn't be able to see what I was doing. So, anyway, there it is again. Let's see, Nana. And so if you look at my cookies and you ever see writing on them, 100% of the time I use a projector. I cannot, I, I cannot do it without a projector. So again, the, um, the website is Dafont, D-A-F-O-N-T. Um, it's very easy to use. You just have to play around with it a little bit. You find the font that you like. Um, you write in the name under the preview, and then you can find, it'll, it'll show you that name in lots of different fonts. You can choose the one that you need, and you can write it on there with your icing. Now, if you just want to, um, 
use the projector as an outline for, for your cookie design, of course you can do that. You would just pull up a, a photo. So let me give you an example. Let me find one here if I can find a, a good example. Um, hold on one second. While I'm looking at this, does anybody have a question about what I just said? I know it's small and it's, you know, a little bit hard to see. Okay, here's an example. This is my current cheerful box right now. It's the wedding box. So do you see that bride-to-be? That's a stencil. But do you see the Mr. and Mrs. right here? Now you could project that on, well, you can see it. Do y'all see how it's projected onto there? I had to turn my phone around, so I'm not sure you can, I don't think you can see it. Anyway, it's projected onto there. <laughs> And then you can, um, you know, you can just write a lot, a lot easier. Yes, Belinda, I am <coughs> saving this tutorial. Have you used the tissue, tissue paper method? Um, I have used the tissue paper method where you, um, is that where you write on it with a pencil? Actually, I don't know if I have used the tissue. I've used so many methods over the years, but they all take so long. I mean, there are so many different ways you can get images and words onto cookies. But I'm telling you, if you make a lot of cookies by the projector, it will save you hours and your cookies will look a lot better. I'm not familiar with the Kodak Luma 50. I, really, the only one that I'm familiar with is the one that I have, the Acaso. It's awesome. The stand, oh, you write with an edible marker. I don't know how to do that. I've never done that with the tissue paper. I've, you'll have to tell me how to do, teach me how to do that. Um, the stand I have is the Archon Mount. Um, you can find that also on the Amazon list. It, I love it so much. It moves all kinds of different ways. It moves up and down. It holds my phone. It holds my camera. It's what you, it what is what holds my phone when I do all of my cookie tutorials. Um, it can hold my iPad. It's, it's awesome. Thank you for the tutorial. I'm going to get one. You know, I just want to make cookie decorating easier for you all. And I'm telling you, a projector, there are a few things that I could not live without. And um, for cookie decorating, one is the projector. My number one thing is my dehydrator. And we're going to talk about that this week. Um, my number two is my projector. My number three as far as big tools, is the airbrush gun. I could probably live without the airbrush gun. I'll be honest. I don't use it that often. Um, I have an inexpensive mount. Wondering if the Archon is worth the extra money. Well, let me show it to you. I think it is. I have three of them. I'm going to show you what all it does. So here it is. It moves up and down, which is super handy. You can also put it on the floor. This right here. You can adjust all these little knobs and move them every possible direction. Um, it holds your phone very well. It's so funny, I'm trying to do this backwards. It holds your phone in this little phone holder right here. Um, you can, you can uh, move this like this. You can put it up like this. You can just move it every possible direction you would need you would need to move it. If you do any um, live streaming, Facebook lives, like I said, you can you can pull this all the way up. It's, it's hooked in right now. I'd have to loosen it up, but you pull it all the way up. You can put this on the floor. It, it's a game. It's a game changer too. It's really, really awesome. Um, my, my husband has a dehydrator for jerky. I'm thinking I need to use it. What you need to do is steal it from him. <laughs> Because you really don't want to use, you you only want to use um, cookies in your dehydrator because it will smell like jerky. We used to make a lot of jerky and we had a different dehydrator 
And we only use that for jerky. Nothing but cookies has ever been in my dehydrator. Off topic, how is Tango? Where is Tango? Tango's so good, you guys. You want to see her? She's over here. Her puppies are due in, um, I think, about 15 days. Say hi, Tango. Tango's the sweetest dog, aren't you? Her face sort of looks like Snoopy. Are you sweet? Yeah, so thank you for whoever asked. She's, are you my buddy? She's the, so I love her so much. <laughs> so let's see, any other questions about dehydrators? If you're watching this on the um, replay, thank you for watching it. I appreciate you watching it. And she is cute. She is the sweetest. She is, she is the sweetest, most precious dog ever. And so is her husband, aren't you? <laughs> I tell you, I'm an animal lover. You can use an Android. Oh, Mimi. Yeah, they're going to be so cute. Can you use an Android? You know, I, I don't know how to do it with an Android. Um, I only, I'm sure you can, but I don't know that for sure. I mean, I can't imagine that you can't, but I, I don't know how to connect it. I only know how to do it through the Apple, through the Apple phone, but you probably could Google that. Um, let's see tomorrow morning. Um, I was gonna go live and answer questions, but I haven't had anybody ask me a question, so I might not do that. <laughs> because <laughs> I haven't gotten any questions. So maybe we're just getting the questions out of the way during these lives. Um, the next day, let's see, tomorrow's Wednesday. I'm taking my son on the college tour. Thursday, I think, what are we doing Thursday? Thursday, I think we're doing dehydrator versus fan. And then Friday, I think we're doing airbrushing. Um, but you can, you can um, look on my Facebook page. I have all of the details about the rest. And yes, we will, Carolyn, we will talk about the dehydrator. It's Thursday, either Thursday or Friday. Look on the schedule and see what day dehydrator is. And we'll talk about, we'll talk about all things dehydrator. Um, is it better to use the phone or computer? Do you mean, do you mean um, with your projector? I've never used my projector with a computer. Um, yeah, I've never done that, Angie. I always use my phone. My phone works great, but of course I couldn't use my phone and talk to you all at the same time. So I use my iPad, but I always use my phone. Um, I have not covered stencils, but we, we are gonna do stencils when we talk about airbrushing. So, any other questions about awesome projectors? Anybody? Anybody? <laughs> so, again, you can find the projector that I have. It's the only one I've ever had. So, there might be better ones. I honestly don't know. I've just been really, really happy with this one. You can find it in um, the list of items in my Amazon shop. Do you have to be on Wi-Fi connection? Hey, Stacy. I'll have to ask my husband that question. He's in the other room working. Look at Tango. It's it's actually done through Bluetooth. Um, I'm not sure if you have to be on Wi-Fi or not. Oh, is there a tip for your hand not getting in the way of the projector? I have, that is a very good question. I, I have learned to position my body so that my hand is not in the way. If you are left-handed, I'll be honest, it's very, very tricky to not get your hand in the way. Um, well, I'm sorry. I touched your, I touched your foot. She's like, I don't want you to do that. <laughs> You know, pregnant pregnant women, they're 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 moody, right? <laughs> um, but I also have I also have a a um swivel and that really helps. Um 
Actually, I take that back. That that only helps when I'm filming. That doesn't help with a projector because then the image would have to move to. You just have to kind of learn where to put your hand, quite honestly. Um, does the mount play a role in that? You know, I don't think so, quite honestly. I mean, because the Archon mount just holds the projector directly above, and that's what you want. I mean, you definitely want it to to hold it directly above the cookie so that des the design is straight on shining down. Oh, yeah, Lefty, that's, it is. It's very, very tricky, tricky to do that. Um, my husband's left-handed, so I know. Gail, you'll have to watch it keeps buffering. Oh, that that is so frustrating, isn't it? Um, so yeah, rewatch it. And again, I'm sorry that this is so small. Maybe go watch it on a big screen. <laughs> and thank you all for watching. I appreciate you all watching all these lives. I hope it's helping you along your cookie journey. And I guess that's it. It's time um, for me to get ready for bed. What about you all? Any more questions? I'll wait about one more minute. Who's excited? Who who wants to who wants to um, learn about the uh, dehydrator? Are you all excited about that, or you you think that might be kind of boring? Anything else you all are interested in knowing about that I haven't covered this month? Any great? Oh, you're welcome. Any uh. Oh, good, Lisa. Okay, good. As long as one person's excited, we'll do it. Any other cookie topics that um, I haven't taught? Plastic trays, metal trays. What do you mean, plastic trays, metal trays? What specifically are you just talking about? <laughs> I'm not sure. Plastic trays. I don't know what that would be. Plastic trays versus metal trays. Can you give me a little bit more info? <laughs> oh, metal trays versus plastic on the dehydrator. Um, we'll talk about that on dehydrator day, but I can tell you I've never seen a dehydrator with a metal tray, quite honestly. I've only seen them with plastic. So, um... I wouldn't, I wouldn't think metal would be very good, quite honestly. I think it would get way, way, way too hot and draw, dry your cookies at. Are the chia mats better than the silicone mats? Um, I don't use either one. So I would, if you're going to use mats, I would always use chia mats. Because I mean, chia mats, because I love Arlene. She's the sweetest human on the planet and lots and lots and lots of people use those and love them i just prefer to use um parchment paper that's just my own personal preference what are some other favorite fonts you know i wish i could tell you that but i i never write them down ever i can't believe that i remembered that one um what i would do is just look through i like the script fonts I would just look through and find one that you like and make a list. I don't do that because I'm not that organized. And then every time I go to write on a cookie, I'm like, what was that font that I liked? And I can never remember. So um, I just would do Magnolia, uh, quite honestly. If you're going to do script, that's a really good one. <laughs> and I'm not sure what the other ones are because I always have to search. Let's see. Oh, you said something about putting cookies on trays yesterday so they don't dry out, just tops to dry quicker. Yes, we'll talk about that on Thursday. It's not, they're not chewing mats or silicone mats. It's actually something else. So we'll talk about that more for the dehydration. And the reason I'm not answering these other questions about the, these other things is I, I really want the information under these lives to just be about the topic. So, um, if you have a question about um, a projector, you'll know to look at this one. If you have a question about the dehydrator, you'll know to look at the dehydrator. Because don't you sometimes want information and then you're like, where in the world did I hear that? And I just think that's really confusing. So that is all for me tomorrow. 
my son is um, we're going on a college visit so i think i'm going to cancel the the 8 30 coffee talk because no one submitted a question and i'll just see you all again on thursday have a great cheerful night bye